revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Now, Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played here, including you. It's the Waynes. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. Damn, it's like I've pouring... I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. Pouring salt I, into the wind. I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. So that it kind is of true. money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder! Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill and Falcone, they were partners. Wow. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting, not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. So what I made you stand to be around your father anymore? So what made you stop? But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Oh man. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. You know what? It's not Alfred's fault. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. Oh, what can he do anyways? Me to collect you. I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. 
He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. Wouldn't Chill just run when he recognized him? Well, it's a fair assumption. But he didn't. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. Yeah, well... I can well. recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. I bet you do, Bruce. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Honestly, though, I'm not mad at Alfred. What can he do? His employer is doing some shady shit. He can't really do anything about it. I'm not gonna, like, put the blame on him, saying Tough City Alfred suck. And he said to himself, he was about to leave. He didn't want to deal with that shit. But then, they died, and of course... I still consider Alfred a good man because of the fact that... He could have left if he wanted to, regardless if I was alone or not. But he didn't. He stayed. He stayed because not only did he believe in me, but he said that he loved me enough to basically be willing to be part of my life, regardless of how tainted my parents were with their shady dealings and whatnot. So, I respect Alfred. I really do. And as far as Bruce is concerned, I know it's eating him alive. All these years grieving over what if I did something to help my poor innocent parents when all reality they weren't really innocent to begin with. So that conflict, I know it's eating him. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents killer? The possibilities are frightening. I only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Damn. That's not... It's not even the right justice. just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave. Just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. Wow. She was That's always that. so good to me. That's that rich people money. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? What do you remember after that, Bruce? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? For your sake, Bruce, yes. Especially since you just found out that your parents are criminals. Stay back! Take whatever you want! And the person, just business. He told me you had it come. You, you don't have to do this. Wow. 
right in the head, bro. Oh my god, right in front of the kid, bro. Wow. And he just clutched the pearl necklace, como si na? Fucking pig. And then he was gonna kill Bruce on top of that? Huh. So he was supposed to Bruce, die too. Are you alright? It wasn't a bug. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. They just bum rushed them out. But getting you in to see Falcone like this, I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that heart, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Yeah. Bruce, that's that's terrible. That's, that's why I'm asking. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. I Gentlemen, know. we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh. Well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. Uh, more like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. It's a case that'll put Falcone away for life. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. You see, I like that. Thank you. That's respect right there. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but... He held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Whoever he is behind the mask, Batman's a hero to me. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. Just say what you gotta say. We'll Thank be out you. here. Lord, have mercy. Give me strength, give me patience. Cause just like Bruce, I feel some type of way about this whole thing. <laughs> Look at him, lying there. Son of a bitch. The hell? Bruce Wayne? <laughs> yep. What's good? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth into you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. <laughs> ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings 
and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. Hell no. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? <sighs> Maybe I should inject you the whole thing so you can... Oh my god, Bruce. Oh, just enough. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. You know what? That would be should never easy. know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha... She had the human touch. I think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. I lost her so young. I hardly remember anything about her. She had steel in her, did Martha. She was the only one that ever had a hold on your father. Until you hired an assassin to kill them both. But you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone. He'd take him out. Okay. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. Yo, what the hell? They're waiting for you in hell. Yo, what is that? <laughs> the bastard had to die. Wow, I was this close into Get in the air. Stand down! Wow. Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets hit no. around! No. I was this close into no. finding out who did a hit on my parents! All that for nothing, bro! Wow! That's crazy shit, bro. Whew. And we are in deep shit. Obviously. <sighs> I bought us some time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. You both heard her. She had no love for Falcone. She's supposed to do her duty, not act on impulses. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts. Like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Of course. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. And it's up to me to figure them out. Tell me if she says anything. 
got you. I have to know why she did this. Ah. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Yeah, I did notice that her veins were popping out from her mouth. Her veins... still visible beneath her skin. Hmm. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? Hey. What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen. You have to believe me. I talked big about hurting thugs like Falcone. But I would never, never betray the lieutenant everything is so foggy i remember a sharp pain there's an injection site on your neck then i just felt light like i could do whatever i wanted no guilt no consequence there was a voice in my ear insisting falcone was gonna get off and all i knew was that i had to stop that I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. You have to remember more, Montoya. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The Damn. voice, it was saying something about revolution. <gasps> Oz? Cobblepot said something similar. Oh my god. So he could be behind this. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. Right, we stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. Out, out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Vicky! What's Wh good? What are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? Sorry, Vicky, I can't talk to the press. The lips are moving. Words are coming out. You know what I mean. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. Now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. A police sergeant, Renee Montoya. W wait, Sergeant Montoya? You didn't get this from me. Well, there you go. I gave her something.
I bet his insurance is like 500 now, just because. Because I know when you drive a red car... Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at Doc's. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I agree. I hope he told you something before he was killed. He didn't. That's the... What did you uh. learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. Okay. But... There's a but to it. Now There's a but to this, right? drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters. And make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? A revolution. Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. As far as I know, Montoya is still an isolated case. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Where are you at? Damn, look at him trying to hide from me. That's so cute. Oh, this is so cute. Like a little mini activity. So, gotta find a signal, I guess. Ooh. Find her! Find her now! Send a strong message! Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.